Hello everybody, Mr. Whitehaired Gardener here. My lovely bride, the missus, is over there clearing the nails from some of this largesse that we have here. Yes. And the question you might ask is, not only what and where did you find all of this wealth, but two, what are you going to do with it? Well, let's answer the first question first. Where did we find it? Try Ace Hardware, Tractor Supply, any of these places that have heavy equipment that they have to break down from pallets and things of this nature to sell in their stores, they oftentimes have a waste pile out back. Ask them if you might go through it, and please don't trash it out, okay? Don't. But what we're going to be doing with this is we've got uh, some potato beds and some other uh, garden items that we're going to be actually assembling from these. Uh, and we are going to show you what a po raised potato bed looks like here shortly. I'm sorry? Free. Oh, yeah. And as Miss Whitehaired Gardener points out, this be free. I mean, aside from the sweat lever that we're putting into it, but you don't have to buy it. Okay? Have a great day. Be right back. As you can see, we've got, we've culled through all the dunnage that we had here from it, and we've cut it down to where it fits for what is going to turn into an above ground potato bed. All right. Now we've got it framed out. You're looking at the end pieces. We're going to nail those down, and then we will nail the sides together, joining it up into one long rectangle. We'll get back to you in just a second. See you. Well, not bragging, of course, but White -haired, Mr. Whitehaired Gardener's side is done, and Mrs. Whitehaired Gardener, not so much. Uh -huh. But she is framing that last board on there, and wouldn't you know you'd buy a nail that's about two millimeters too long, so we wound up having to put all of these in at like a 45. But these are how the sides will look, and then you're going to lose, uh, then we'll start building the front side of these frames out. They'll have about the same sort of split or distance between the boards, and we'll show you all of that in just a second. <clears throat> Okay, so we're back with it. We've got the long side put on. We're about to, as you can see, some of this down here is the rest that's needed for the opposite side. And we will show you that in just a second, and then the whole box will be made. We're going to make a part two to this one because the, this is going to be, how did you call this? What was this called? Potato box. I know a potato box, but there's something about the soil. What is that? Oh, yeah, we're going to be using a mixture of straw and compost to make it very thick and light, which is why you see all these spaces here, um, because the straw will fill it up and we get a decent amount of airflow. Right, there. right. Well, anyway, that way you don't have to bury them in the ground and then spend the next six months digging them up, which yeah. you'll do at the end of the season, literally, is take the sides off of this and then just cull to you or dump it out. Yeah, or just lift it. And you know, dump just it. lift it and dump it out. And, uh -huh. and and then you can cull through by hand. But we'll show you all that stuff later. And like I said, there will be a part two to this video when we uh, actually uh, fill it uh, with uh, planting material and uh, whatever my bride intends to put for whatever potatoes we're growing. See ya! Okay, and that's finished product. Uh, some hand gestures, Ivana. Thank you ever so. But anyway, the next time you see this, uh, we will be uh, revisiting this in part two of how to take this crate, which you have found by using your available resources. In other words, go to sure. hardware stores, things of this nature, ask if they've got any dunnage out back from tearing down stuff that they've got, and ask them if you can <laughs> take stuff Don't from it. Then make sure that it's not some big rat's nest when you're finished, okay? Be nice. That way you can go back and do it again if you need to. Enough said about that particular point. Like, share, and subscribe. Any closing uh, words there, Miss uh, Whitehead Gardner? I'm just happy to see you and leave comments below. See you.